Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I was doing this thing yesterday where it's bugging out. Hello guys, can you hear me? Let me know. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, GC Revision. Welcome, my friend. Hello, Boring. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you back on the call. Hope you're well. Right, guys. We're going to start, obviously, shortly here. So, we're going to start by looking at some foundation, actually. Yeah, foundation tier stuff. Okay. For the non yeah. the non yeah. But, also, hello, hello, GC Revision. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Okay. Welcome, guys. Hope hope you're all well. Hope you're all well. Let me know. Is it all clear this time? Hello, Rushlin. Welcome, welcome. Hey. So, guys, today, as usual, you, 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 yeah, we're going to go through, yeah, just some practice questions. Okay. This is appropriate, of course, here yeah, for the OCR Foundation, yeah, for the non calculator paper. Okay. But it's also appropriate for AQA Foundation and also LXR Foundation. Okay. And it's still. Good revision for the higher tier, okay? We will look at some higher tier, actually. Thank you, actually, for your love, for liking, actually. Thank you, for your for liking. Hello, Libs. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you on the call. Hello, User677. Hello, Simba. Welcome, welcome. It's good, good to have you on the call. Hello, Rimmer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well, guys. Hope you're all well. Good evening, good evening. Hope you're all well. We will start, guys, when we hit 1K likes, okay? We'll make a start, okay? And I'll try and cover a bit more, obviously, tonight as well. Okay. Make sure, guys, yeah, give us a follow, guys, okay? So you're notified of when I go live, okay? So give us a follow if you can, guys, as well. Okay. Hey, are we going to be able to go do a foundation question? Yes, we can, yes. Yes, N, we can. Today, we can. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so these questions are aimed at the foundation tier. Okay, uh, Libs, uh, like, I can't actually answer that, actually, unfortunately. Like, I, can't, I can't actually answer that on, on like, a live stream. Actually, I apologise. Okay. Right, guys, we'll make a start in just a few seconds. Okay. Start with grade one topics and go up to grade five. Okay. So this PowerPoint looks at the foundation tier questions for the non-calculator paper. Hello, Hayley. Welcome, welcome. What days do I go live? So at the minute, it's actually every day, okay, in the evenings. Hello, Beth. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm trying to do a mixture. And what time? This is the first time I found your light. Okay. So normally, yeah, for me, yeah, it is actually going to be actually yeah, this or evenings, yeah. So give us a follow, okay. Square number is eighteen, or not actually quite eighteen this year, so not quite eighteen. Um, double check that, buddy. Thank you, N, for the follow. Thank you so much, N, for the follow. Some comments in this live were filtered to protect the community experience. Okay. No worries. Right, guys, we'll make a start, okay, when we hit 1K likes. Okay. Guys, this is good revision for your exams, upcoming exams, okay? Modern DOS, yes, that is correct, yes. Okay. Tap the screen, guys, okay? Thank you, Footy, for the follow. Thanks so much, Footy, for the follow. Guys, make sure you press that follow button tonight, okay? Thank you for the follow actually. Yeah. Everyone in the chat, guys. Yes, yeah, spot on, Dosh. You are actually correct. Yes, okay. So these are key numbers to remember, particularly for your non calculator paper, okay, for higher and for foundation. Okay, hello, Abdullah. Welcome, welcome. Underscore 211. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Right, guys, we're about to pop 1000. About to, about to hit. About to hit. Thank 
Thank you, Footy, for liking. Thank you, Footy, for liking. Thank you, user, for liking. Right, guys, we will now make a start. Okay, thank you for 1k likes, guys. Okay, thank you. Hello, hello, I think TV. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Yes, S, you're right now. Yes, S. They are your square numbers, okay? So let's start. Hello, my friend. Hello, hope you're well. Right, guys, let's make a start, okay? So, your square numbers, your cube numbers, and your prime numbers, okay? So here they are, guys, okay? So square numbers are made by multiplying a number by itself. So 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is, yes, yeah, spot on S. Yeah, okay, thank you, buddy, for liking. Okay? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so a square number, yeah, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is going to be 25. Okay, 6 squared makes 36, so on and so forth. Okay, so learn these ones for your upcoming exams. Okay, so me personally, for just seeing maths here, I learned 1 to 15, and then the cube numbers here, I learned 1 to 5, and then 10. And then for the prime numbers, I learned up to about 31. Okay, but again, if you obviously screenshot that, yeah, obviously take a note, okay? So can I move on, guys? Are there any questions? Hey, I haven't seen you in live, actually. Oh, awesome, Neil. Hello, Neil. Mom. Welcome, my friend. Long time, actually. A long time. Hope you're well. Thank you, S, for liking. Thank you, S, for liking. Oh, awesome. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the poll. Okay, move on, okay? So, just to remember, guys, yeah, a prime number is a number that has two factors, one in itself. A really common mistake, okay, students think that zero is a prime number and one is a prime number. Zero and one are not prime numbers, okay? The first even prime number is two, and the rest of the prime numbers are going to be odd numbers, okay? Thank you, S, for liking. One second, guys, one second. Sorry, one sec. Okay, so, back to this, guys. Let me know, guys. Can you hear me? Sorry about that. I apologise, guys. My mum my, my was just shouting me. I'd apologise. Okay. So, sorry. Are there, were, there, were there any questions? Yep, Sammy, yep. So, 16, yeah, is a square number. Yep. Okay, 16 is a square number. Okay. So, there they are. Okay, just quickly. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yep, no questions. Yes, Nima. Yep, it's GC, my friend. Yes, what did you see? Yep. Okay, did you see foundation? Okay, we're looking at some negative numbers. Okay, again, these are like classic questions, guys, here for the foundation tier. Okay, so let's give these questions a go. Okay, negative 6 plus 2, okay, makes negative 4. Okay, if you're adding to a negative, okay, the number gets bigger, so it gets closer to 0. So it becomes minus four. No worries. Yeah, no worries, Nima. No worries. Yes, S. Yep. Can we do angles? We can do yes. Yes, Corey. This is foundation. Yes. Uh, we can do angles. Yes, at some point. Okay. Spot on S. Yep. No worries. No worries, Nima. No worries, my friend. It's good to see you as well. Been a long time. Oh. Right, there we go. Sorry. Minus four. Okay, spot on, okay. Next one is minus 8, guys. You are correct. Yep, spot on. Walden Mario, Walden S. Yep, Walden S, that is correct. Yep, it is minus 8. Okay, if you're subtract, remember, the number gets smaller, okay? So, think of your number line like this, okay? If you're subtracting, you're, go you're going this way, if you're subtracting. And if you're adding, you're going this way, okay? 
for that. Okay, this next one minus six times minus two. Again, this trips over here. Like, like yeah, this actually trips over here. This trips over here. Soon it's quite large. Yeah, yep. Spot on S. You are correct. Yep. So minus twelve. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. I apologize, guys. So minus twelve. Okay. When the signs are different, and when you multiply or divide, it becomes a minus. Okay. This next one, what is minus 6 times minus 2? It's all right, Mario. What, what did you say, Mario? 6? Oh, no worries. It's all right. So minus times minus makes a positive, so it'd be positive 12. So what well if you got that, guys? Minus 6 divided by minus 2. Again, the signs are the same. So the answer will be positive. So it'd be positive 3. 6 divided by minus 2, so positive divided by negative makes a negative, so it'd be negative 3, or minus 3. Okay, again, this is a super, super hot topic here, particularly, okay, on the foundation tier, Edexcel, AQA, and OCR papers here, at the start of the non-calculator actually papers here, so make a note of that, guys, okay, so practice your negative numbers, okay, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, negative numbers. Okay, hello, Amar. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you. Well done, guys. Yep. Spot on. You are correct. S. Yes. Make sense? Are there any questions, guys? Or can I move on? Okay. We will also do some higher edge here today. Okay, so we're starting up with some, we're starting up with some foundation. And then we will do a higher tier, obviously, PowerPoint as well. Okay. We did the higher tier version of this year last night. Okay. So we'll now look at a higher tier version of a calculator paper. Okay. Thank you, okay, awesome, awesome, okay, minus 4, minus 8, tw uh, 12, minus 1, which yeah, 12, 3, and minus 3, okay, spot on. Okay, so first worthy question, there are 312 chairs, okay, and 13 classrooms in a primary school. Each classroom has the same number of chairs, how many chairs are there in each classroom? I'm going to do 312 divided by 13 okay to work out the number of chairs there are in each classroom okay, or in one classroom okay thank you maria for liking thank you so much maria for liking hello nicholas smith welcome welcome thank you maria for liking thank you for liking guys i appreciate it. hello audrey hello lisa welcome welcome 13 into 3 i can't do 13 into 31 go twice with the remainder of five 13 into 52 goes four times. So there's 24 chairs in each classroom. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Again, very, very common topic for a contextual question for a foundation tier paper. Okay. For that one. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay. 24. Okay. Next question here. It's a bit more tricky now. I'm looking at some prime factors. Okay. Product of prime factors. Which of the following statements are true? So m is equal to 2 times 3 squared times 5. So let's work out here. So m is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So what's that going to give us? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is going to be 18. And then 18 times 5 makes 90. So m is equal to 90. Okay, so first point, m is the prime number. Okay, is 90 a prime number, guys? Yes or no in the, in the chat? Is 90 a prime number? Yes or no? Hello, is welcome, welcome, it's good to have you. So is 90 prime? Well, it's not because it's even, right? Because it's even. So I can half it. It's divisible by 3 and by 5 and by 10. So it's got multiple factors. Remember, a prime number has exactly two factors, one in itself. So M is not prime. No. Is it a multiple of 6? Well, it's a multiple of 3. Is it a multiple of 6? So let's just check. So 90 divided by 6. So let's do a quick bus stop if we're not sure. Okay, 
The answer is actually yes, yeah, but we'll just obviously confirm it. Six into nine goes once with three left over. Six into 30 goes five times. He goes in 15 times. Okay, so yes, it is a multiple of six. That is right, okay. Or a factor of six, okay, either one. Okay. M is a square number. So is 90 a square number, guys? Yes or no in the chat? Hello, Charlize. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Jane. Welcome, welcome. Guys, make sure you press that follow button if you can, guys. Okay, make sure you press that follow button. If you can. Thank you, Mario, for liking. Thank you, Mario, for liking. So is 90 a square number? Thank you, Mario, for liking. Hello, RM. Come on, come on. Thank you, Mario, for liking. I appreciate that. Okay, yep. So, Chintan Nanji, yep, says no. So, you are actually right. Yep, you are exactly right. So, it's not a square number. Okay. Because the square root of 90 is not a whole number. Okay? And you can check on your calendar if you're, if you're not sure. Okay. The last digit of M is zero. Well, that's, yes, that's actually plain and simple. So, that is right. Yes. So, cross, tick, cross, tick. Okay. For that, okay. There we go. Okay, awesome. Well done, guys. Thank you, BA Droid, for following. <laughs> guys, if you're not following, guys, please, please, please press, press that follow button if you can. Okay, press that follow button. It's free to obviously follow, guys, and I, I really obviously appreciate it. Okay, and any gifts here are, of course, actually welcome, guys. Okay, so Isla and Ben earn, sorry, both earn the same amount of money, Um, sorry, the same monthly salary. Isla saves 50% of her salary. Ben saves one fifth of his salary. Okay, work out who saves the most in each month. Okay, so there are two ways. Yeah, to obviously work this out, guys. Yeah. Okay, we're comparing which is smaller, fifteen percent or one fifth. Now, hopefully, you have it here. Uh, this is here. So, one fifth as a percentage is actually twenty percent. Because if I, if I multiply this fraction by a hundred. Okay, remember a fraction to a, a percentage times it by a hundred, one fifth times a hundred. Uh, I can go through through circumstances yeah, at some point, but yeah, if I get a chance, yes. You're saying Ben. Okay, and you would obviously be exactly correct. Yes. Okay. So twenty percent. Okay, so. The answer is Ben, okay, because Isla saves less than 20%, okay, so it's comparing your fraction decimals, yep, spot on Jupiter, you are correct, yes, hello Daisy, welcome, thank you Lisa for liking, thanks so much Lisa for liking, Ben, yep, yep, Dylan, you are right, yep, spot on Dylan, you are correct, my friend, yep, awesome, awesome, can I move on guys, make sense? Hello, RB. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Lisa, for liking. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. Then, there we go. Okay, so a fraction of an amount. Okay, fraction of a quantity. So here, we divide by the bottom and times by the top. So 40 divided by 5, okay, and then multiply it by 1. So divide by the denominator and then multiply by the numerator. Okay, again, this is a super, super common question on the foundation tier. Okay, it's nice, easy marks. We get the answer of eight. Okay, yes, it is, Mario. Yes, it is. Yep. So this is actually non-calculator here. So these questions here are actually designed for the non-calculator paper for the foundation tier. Okay, but bits of it may also be appropriate for the higher tier non-calculator. Okay. Okay, next one, 3 eighths of 48. So again, divide by the bottom times by the top. So 48 divided by 8 and then times it by 3. 48 divided by 8 is going to be 6. 6 times 3 is going to be 18. 
So the second answer is going to be 18, okay? And that's a fraction of an amount, okay? Divide by the bottom, times by the top. Yep, spot on, Lisa. Yep, spot on, Lisa. Well done, Lisa. Spot on. Good work, okay? Good work, Lisa. So you can times it first year, but me personally, divide it to make the number easier each year, make it smaller, and then times it. Okay. So this is the way that I actually teach you. So this is a fraction of an amount, guys. Yeah, you divide by the bottom and then times by the top. Okay. But you can times by the top here and divide by the bottom each year. I, that's all fine. Okay. Hello, creator. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Eight. 18 okay so again looking at some fractions okay so which one is going to give us the greatest value so let's do the multiplying first okay thank you mario for liking thanks so much mario for liking i appreciate that okay so when you multiply fractions multiply top by top i get six and bottom by bottom i get 20 so i get six twentieths okay which simplifies to three tenths okay Dividing fractions, I use the flip change or keep change flip. Okay, either one. Thank you, Mario, for liking. Okay, it becomes three quarters. Okay, you flip the second fraction and then change it to a multiply. Then it's top by top and bottom by bottom. Okay, three by five makes 15, and then four by two makes eight. So we get 15, eight guys okay for that okay so that's how we move that is how we divide fractions guys okay okay when we add fractions okay I like to use here what I call the butterfly method. Mm -hmm. So we, we cross the multiply this year. So we do three times five plus four times two, and then divided by the denominators being multiplied together. So I'll say again this year. So five times three makes 15. Four times two makes eight. So we get 15 plus eight divided by the product of the denominators. So four times five makes 20. So I'm going to get 20 there. So my final answer becomes 23 twentieths. Okay. Thank you, Lisa, for liking. Thanks so much, Lisa, for liking. Okay. Right, guys. This one, obviously, yeah, it's going to be smaller. Okay, so that one I can ignore. Okay, because my answer gets smaller. Okay, but if you're unsure, you do 3 times 5, which, which makes 15. Then minus... 4 times 2, which is 8, so 15, subtract 8 over the product of the denominators, so 4 times 5 is going to be 20, so I'm going to get the answer of 7 twentieths, okay. So it's not the bottom left one, okay, it is either top left or bottom right, okay. So which one are we saying, guys, okay, we've got 23 twentieths, Okay, and we've got 15 eighths. Okay, now writing them as mixed numbers. Okay, I have one and three twentieths. Okay, when you get an answer that you can simplify, you can simplify uh, yes, Lisa, yes, yes, that, that is my advice, yes. Okay, yep. That, that is also my advice personally, yes, Lisa, yes. Okay. Where possible, yes. So where possible, simplify your answer if you can. Okay. But it depends, obviously, on the context. Okay. If, you, if you're looking at some probability questions, then probability, yeah. You don't actually have to, have to actually simplify that, yeah. But where possible, if you can, simplify your fraction, yeah. Because it obviously makes it a bit easier to actually deal with it, if that makes sense. Okay. But yeah, thank you for actually asking that question. Okay. So you logic not need to come those. Okay, yes, yeah, spot on. Okay. So we see that I'm, I'm gonna get one and seven eighths. Hopefully here we can now see that one and three twentieths is smaller than one and seven eighths. Okay, therefore the bottom right one is gonna be the answer. Okay, yep, thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Yep, thank you, Brandon.
Hey. Hold on, buddy. Okay. That also works, okay. Thank you, Matt, for liking. Thank you, Matt, for liking. I appreciate it. I guess you guys did for obviously being it's not. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you for joining. Okay, there we go. Okay, looking at some place value work now. Okay. So use the fact that 371 times 93 makes 34,503 to work out 37.1 times 9.3. Okay, so I've divided this by 10 and this by 10. Thank you, Lisa, for liking. Thank you, Maria, for liking. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for liking. Oh, wow, guys, almost 4K likes. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so overall, I'm, I'm going to divide my answer by 100. Okay, so my answer would be 345.03. Okay, hello, Planet 2020. Thank you, Matt, for liking. Thanks so much for liking. Thank you, Lisa, for liking. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for liking, guys. I appreciate that. Wow, 4K lights. So we're smashing it tonight, guys. Okay, next one. Okay. So we're actually dividing now. Okay, so it's the same number, but I'm dividing it by 9.3. So my answer is, is, is going to be 10 times bigger than 371. So my answer will be 3,710. The reason for that is, is because if I divide it by 93, I get 371. Okay, obviously working backwards here. Because this is 10 times smaller than this, to, to make it so the sums in check, I'm going to multiply 371 by 10. That's my answer for that. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Are there any questions? Thank you, Lisa, for liking. Thank you, Mario. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, again, revise this topic here for the foundation sheet tier sheet as well, okay, as well as higher tier. Okay, there we go. Okay, write 32% as a fraction in its simplest form. So percentage is out of 100, so it'd be 32 hundredths. Okay, they're both even, so I can half it, so I get 16 fiftieths. Okay, divide top and bottom by two again. Thank you, Lisa, for, for liking it. Thank you, Lisa, for liking Thank you, Mario, for liking I get eight twenty-fifths. Okay. And again, this is a very, very hot topic here on a foundation tier question, okay? They might even give you, like, two marks here for this question, okay? One mark, obviously, getting the 200s, and then one mark for simplifying it, okay? Oh, thank you, N4J4M, for liking Thanks so much for liking it. Nice to have you on the call. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you on the call. Okay. So that's how to write a fraction in its simplest form. Okay. Remember, percent or percentage means out of a hundred. Okay. So make sure yeah, that you're happy with your fraction, decimals, and percentage conversions. Okay. If you're interested as a decimal, it would be 32 divided by a hundred. Okay, as a decimal, which would be 0 0.32. Okay, so 0 0.32, okay, that would be the decimal equivalent, okay, to 32%, okay, to revise your fraction, decimal, and percentage conversions, okay, make sense, can I move on, again, I appreciate it, guys, yeah, it, it, it might obviously be actually easy for someone here, but this is just like general revision, guys, yeah, and general tips here for your upcoming exam. Okay, this is aimed at foundation, but this is still in appropriate knowledge for the higher tier maths as well. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool, cool. Well done, guys. Good work so far. Okay, percentage of an amount. Okay, so work out 35% of 80. So if it was me, I'd work out what 10% is. So 10% of any quantity means divide it by 10. So 80 divided by 10 is going to be 8. 5% would be half of 10%. So half of 8 is going to be 4. 
and then to work out 30% is three lots of 10% or six lots of 5%, okay, either one is, right, okay, I get the answer of 24, okay, yep, well done, yep, well, well done, and M4, JM4, well done, yep, good work, yes, spot on. So 35% is going to be 24 plus 4 is going to be 28, okay? Well done, guys. Hello, hello, Harajit. Uh, Har 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 Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. Long time, my friend, long time. Hope you're well. Good to see you on the call. Thank you, actually, guys, here. Yeah, thank you for actually liking it. Thank you for all the support so far. Awesome, awesome. Hello, my friend. It's good to see you on the call, okay? That's a percentage of an amount, okay? So remember that, okay? So your key ones, remember, actually, for, you, for your exam, guys, here, 10%, uh, 25%, 50%, yeah, 1%, okay, so 50% is just half of it, so divide it by 2, 10% divided by 10, 25% divided by 4, and then 1% divided by 100, okay, and then from there, you're able to work out any percentage, okay, without a calculator, okay, for that, okay, if it was a calculated paper, okay, if it was, then you could do 0 0.35, okay, Let's have a look. There we go. So you, you could do, yep, spot on, hard. Yes, that is correct. Yep. So if it's a calculate paper, then you could do 0 0.35 times 80, and it would also give you 28. Okay. If, if it was a calculator paper, okay. Because of means multiply, and obviously that as a decimal, 0 0.35. Sorry. Okay. Spot on, okay. Hello, V. Hello, welcome, welcome, V. It's good to have you on the call. Long time, my friend. Hope you're well. Hello, hello. It is good to see you again. Long time. Hope you're well. Awesome, guys. Good work, okay. Good work so far. Okay, now looking at adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing here in standard form. Okay, let's do multiply and divide it here first here because it's a bit more easier. It says work out, okay, 8 times 10 to the 6 times 4 times 10 to the 3. So if it was me, I times the numbers here. So I do 8 times 4 is going to be 32. And then multiplied by 10 to the power of 9. Because when you multiply with the same base, you add the powers. Okay. And then writing this in standard form, okay, would be 3.2 times 10 to the power of 10. Okay. Because remember, standard form, guys, is a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to the power of something, okay? If the power is positive, then it's a big number. If the power is negative, then, then it's a decimal, okay, or a small number, okay? For that, okay, yeah, well done, yes. Oh, careful, hard shot, yeah, careful, yeah, it's 32, yeah, 32 times 10 to the 9, okay, 3.2 times 10 to the 10, okay? Right, dividing now, I do 8 divided by 4, which is 2, and then I've got times by 10 to the power of 6, divided by 10 to the power of uh, that, okay, so that will be 10 to the power of 3, okay. Well done, yep, spot on, Hodge, um, Hodge, yes, well done, V, yep, correct, V, spot on, okay, correct, yeah, thank you, N for like, thanks so much, N for liking, okay, does that make sense, guys? Okay. Okay, when we're adding, okay, we've got two options. We can change them into normal ordinary numbers, or we can make it to the powers of the same and then just add the numbers, okay? So what does that mean this year? So I can write this year, write, rewrite to as 8,000 times 10 cubed, okay, add 4 times 10 cubed. Well, if I'm adding and it's the same power, okay, I can just add the numbers, okay, so I get 8,004 times 10 cubed, okay, and that would be 8.004, okay, Times by sorry, zero zero four. Sorry, I apologise. There we go. Okay, times by ten to the power of 
six key for that one key. So 8.004 times 10 to the 6, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Hello, Vicky. Welcome, welcome. Okay, awesome. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so when I'm subtracting, again, make it so I've got the same base. So make it, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have 8,000 times 10 to the power of 3. Subtract 4 times 10 to the power of 3. Oh, sorry. Make it so it's 10 to the power of 3. Subtract 4 times 10 to 3. Well, 8,000 minus 4 is going to be 7,996 multiplied by 10 cubed. Okay. Which is the same as saying 7.996 times by 10 to the power of 6. Okay. For that, okay, and that will obviously be in standard form. Now, obviously, here, yeah, it actually says, yeah, yeah, here it actually says, yeah, obviously, work out so it, it wants it as like a normal number, okay. But for me personally, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it, yeah, in standard, standard form, actually, yeah, just for good practice, okay. But yeah, in the exam, guys, if it says work out, yeah, give your answer as a normal number, okay. For that, okay, so does that make sense, guys? Are there any questions? Make sure you give us a follow, please. If you can actually press that follow button, please. If you're new around here, give us a follow if you can, guys, please. Are there any questions? Hello, Dot. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Hello, user 334. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Guys, if you're new around here, please, please, please press that follow button. Okay, awesome, okay. So these are your White Rose Maths answers, okay. So let's just obviously delete my answer here so you can see it, okay. So these are the White Rose Maths answers, okay, so you can see that, okay. But my answers are also correct, okay. Okay. So they are your answers, okay. So again, okay. Awesome, awesome, okay. Let's just obviously delete that because it's not very neat, okay. Sorry, being a bit funny there. Some mark workings, okay. Right, guys, moving on now. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, right. So simplifying ratios again, another another hot topic, guys. Okay, so write the ratio forty to twenty-four okay, in its simplest form. Hello, Bree. Welcome, welcome. They're both even, so I can half it. So I get twenty to twelve. They're both even again, so I can half it. I get 10 to 6. They're both even, so I can half it. I get 5 to 3, guys. So 5 to 3. Okay, thank you, Sia, for the follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Guys, if you're around here, please, please, please hit that follow button if you can tonight, okay? Please. Hello, Dan hates everything. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Are there any questions? Thank you, Lisa, for the follow. Thank you so much, Lisa, for the follow. I appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Let's move on now. Okay, there we go. Okay, Mo has some 20p coins and 50p coins in his pocket. The ratio of the 20p coins to the ratio of 50p coins in Mo's pocket is the ratio 5 to 2. Okay, what fraction of the coins in Mo's pocket are 50p coins? Okay, for this, okay. So think of it as here, yeah? Okay, so think of it as he has five 20p coins. Okay, and two 50p coins. Okay, so five 20p coins. Coins. Okay, and two 50p coins. Okay. So, what fraction of coins in Mo's pocket are 50p coins? Well, he's got two out of a total of seven. So, two over five plus two. 
So the answer is going to be two sevenths. For that P. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Hello, use the welcome welcome user. Well, thank you so much, guys, here for 6K likes. Thank you so much for the UK. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, awesome, guys. Let's move on. Okay, two sevenths. Okay. It takes four builders 20 weeks to build a house. Now, how long would it take 16 builders to build the same house? So, say any substitutes you've made. So, the logic here, guys, is the more builders I have, the less time it takes. So if it takes four builders, okay, so four builders, so four builders, if it takes them, okay, 20 weeks, it's going to take 16 builders, okay, a fraction of that amount, okay? So to go from four to 16, I'll multiply by four, okay? So here, I'm going to divide by four, okay? Because it, it, it's actually going to take actually a quarter of the time, okay? So 20 divided by four, it will actually give us five weeks, okay? So it would take 16 builders five weeks, okay, to build a house, okay, or this house, okay? The logic behind it is the more people we have building the house, the less time it takes. And the less people we have, the more time it takes, okay? So that is my assumption, okay? So the more people we have to build a house, the less time it takes. The less people we have, the more time it takes, okay? So in this context, it is actually gonna take one builder actually 80 weeks to build a house, okay? So the more builders you have, the less time it takes. Here, that is the logic behind it. There we go. Okay. All the builders here work at the same rate. Okay. Either answer would suffice. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now expanding single brackets here. So this could appear on a higher or a foundation tier paper. Okay, again, a super, super hot yeah, common question. Okay, worth about two marks. So I'm going to simplify. So I'm going to do A times A which is a squared, a times minus one, that'll be minus one a, okay, minus two times a makes minus two a, and minus two times minus one, okay, makes positive two, okay. I'm now gonna collect my like terms. I've got a squared, Minus 1a, subtract 2a, makes minus 3a, okay? Remember, it's getting smaller yet if you're subtracting. And then plus 2. And that's my answer to this double bracket, okay? So a double bracket will always give you a quadratic expression, okay? In the form, yeah, x plus a number, x minus a number, or x plus a number, x times, or x plus a number, okay? Make sense, guys? Are there any questions? Any questions, guys, or not? Or can I move on? Is there a certain order where you can put the numbers? What for expanding brackets here? Um, no, actually, yeah, you're you're obviously able to put it here in in any order actually that you want. Okay, any order. So, I, so I, like I could have actually written it as yeah as a squared minus two a minus one a plus two. Okay, a squared minus three actually a plus two. Okay, but I can write it literally as two minus three a plus a squared, okay, that, that also works, or even, or even, let's say, um, 2 plus a squared minus 3a, okay, these would all suffice, okay, as, as long as the a squared actually is positive, and the 3a is a negative, and the plus 2a is obviously positive, okay, hello, e, welcome, welcome back, my friend, hello, hello, welcome back, it's good, it's good to have you on the call, okay. Does that answer your question, Lisa? Does that answer your question? Hello, HD. I 
Okay, awesome, awesome. More than it's here. More than it's here for us. It's some, some good question. Yes, important. Okay. But generally, yeah, we write it in the form a letter squared plus or minus a that number times a letter and then plus or minus a number. Okay. I mean, I'm day one. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yes, that is true. Yes, you are day one person. Yeah, that is right. Yes. So let's move on. Okay, so looking at forming yeah, a formula here or forming an algebraic expression, okay? So delivery firm charges, hello Fitch, is it Fitch or F J C H Q? Hello, welcome my friend, welcome, welcome, hope you're well. Delivery firm charges £40 fixed fee plus £8 for every mile travelled. Which formula shows the cost of this of delivering an item in miles? Well, C is equal to 40 plus 8 lots of M. Okay, so that would be this option here. Okay, C is equal to 40 plus 8 lots of M. Okay, we're well, at it is 8M. Hello, Daisy. Welcome, welcome, Daisy. Hello, hello, hope you're well. Let's make sure you're following, guys. Yeah, press that follow button if you're new here. Hello, Jenna. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Hope you're well. Yeah, that's my answer for that. I okay, hope that makes sense, okay? And again, these are very common questions here. Yeah. Okay, get in the habit, yeah, of like using algebra to form equations, yeah, and form formulas, because yeah, that will definitely actually help you in the exam, okay? Right, looking at some identities now, okay? Work out the values of A and B, okay? So step one, expand the brackets. So three lots of 2x is going to be 6x, Okay, and three lots of A makes a three A. Four lots of BX makes a four BX. And four lots of three makes a 12. Okay, so what those three lines are saying is that this expression on the left hand side is identical, i.e., the same as. Expression on the right hand side. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Why did it do this? Hello, Will. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Again, this topic came to this year. So this can appear on both this year, the higher or actually the foundation paper. Okay. This is more higher, I would say, this year. But, but again, this year, it, it, it can also obviously appear on like, the foundation as well. Okay, that's identical to 22x, okay, plus 27. Now, because they're identical, I can compare the coefficients of x. So I can say, well, 6 plus 4b, okay, has to equal 22 by definition because the x's on the left hand side have to be equal to the x's on the right hand side. Okay. And then I can also say that all the constants have to make 27. I can say that 3a plus 12 has to equal to 27. Okay. Does that make sense so far, guys? Yeah, does that make sense? Okay, so I expanded the bracket out to step one. I'm, I'm now comparing, okay, firstly, the coefficient of x. So I get 6 plus 4b equals 22. Yes, I can say that again. Yes, so I can. Okay, so step one, I expanded the bracket out. Okay, so I did 3 times 2x, which, which I got 6x. 3 times a, I got 3a. 4 times bx is going to be 4bx. And 4 times 3 makes 12. Now, those three lines just mean that everything on the left hand side is identical, i.e., the same as everything on the right hand side. So I can say that all the x terms have to be the same. So 6x plus 4bx has to equal to 22x, okay? So the coefficients, okay, of x, okay, the numbers here in front of the x, is going to be 6, 
4B and 22, okay? They are all the numbers in front of the X terms, okay? 6 plus 4B has to make 22, okay? I can now solve this, okay, by subtracting 6 and then dividing by 4. Okay, so we get 4B is 16, dividing both sides by 4, we get that B is equal to 4. Okay, for this one here, I'm going to subtract 12 on both sides. We get 3A equals 15, dividing both sides of the equation by 3, we get that A is equal to 15 thirds, so A is equal to 5. Okay. And they are my values of A and B that satisfy that identity. Okay? Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Hus? Does that make sense? Hello, Naz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hello, Ressa. Welcome, welcome. Guys, new idea. Please, please, please. Press that follow button. Okay? So step one, I expanded the bracket. I then compared the coefficient of the x's. So I got 6 plus 4b has to equal to 22. And then I compared the coefficient of the constants. Okay, awesome, Lisa, awesome, awesome. Okay, I then solved the equations. Okay, because now if I sub a and B back in, okay, the left-hand side will give me the expression 22x plus 27. Okay, and, and I can actually check it if you want to, okay, because 6x means 6 times x. So here I'm going to get 30, okay. No, sorry, sorry. Here's, yeah, sorry, actually, sorry, yeah, x is equal to, sorry, it's A equal to 5, actually, not x, sorry, I apologise. Sorry, so you're going to have 6x. Plus 3a, well, a is equal to 5, so I get 6x plus 15. Okay, b is equal to 4, so 4 times 4 makes 16. So I'm going to have 16x plus 12. And if I simplify the bit in blue, okay, I do indeed get the right hand side, okay, because 6x plus 16x makes 22x. Okay, and then 15 plus 12 makes 27. Okay. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense now. Okay. I'll give you a minute yet to see. Do you think it's yes? So do your little screenshot, whatever. And I'll move on. Okay, hello Liverpool. Hello MJ. Welcome, welcome. Guys, if you're on there, please, please hit, hit that follow button if you can. So, Reza, Android, AB, if you, yeah, just join us, join us in, give us a follow if you can, please. My target now is 10k followers. That is my target. Okay. Okay, can I move on, guys? Hello, Dean. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Lisa said yes. Okay, can I move on, Hus, if you're here? Can I move on? Oh, you're not here. Hello, James. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Faisal. If I are, sorry, I am. Okay, next question. Okay, so solving a two-step equation. Okay, so step one, subtract 10 on both sides. So you minus 10 on both sides. You get 3p equals 15. Dividing both sides of my equation by 3, okay, we get that P 
is equal to five. Okay. And again, these are super, super common two, three mark questions on the foundation theory, okay? And also on the high tertiary as well, okay? So make sure you're happy with your algebra, okay? So solving an equation, this is. Okay, awesome. There we are. Okay, moving on now. Okay, slightly more tricky now. So solving a quadratic again, both actually both on the foundation and also the higher DM. So solve m squared minus 8m plus 1 here equals 0. So step 1 is to factorise it. Okay, so try and obviously factorise it. Thank you, Shia. Thank you, Liverpool, for liking. Okay, so step 1 is to factorise it. Okay, to make m squared, I do m times m. So it's m times m. Okay. And now I want two numbers that add to make minus 8 and multiply to make 12. So I want the factors of the end number. This yeah, so th this topic here is actually on both yeah, on both those tiers. Yes, spot on. G, you are correct. So factors three are going to be one and twelve. Okay, two and six and four and three. Now I want to make minus eight. Okay. Now, to make minus 8, it would be minus 2, add minus 6, yeah? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yes, absolutely it is. Yes, spot on. Yes, Liverpool, you are correct. Yes. Okay. So, it would be M minus 2. See, I'm actually cursed. It's sorry, guys. And M minus 6, okay? Because minus 2 plus minus 6 makes minus 8, and minus 2 times minus 6 makes positive 12. Okay. For that, okay. Does that make sense, guys? Read that, okay. But last step now, yeah, because yeah, as she says, as she solve it, she has to solve the equation. So either m minus two equals zero, or m minus six equals zero. Okay. So if I solve the first equation, I get m equals two. If I solve the second equation. I watched every single maths video and learnt it, and I still can't do a past paper. What should I do? Need to go now. Yeah, no worries, no worries, Arjun. Nice to actually see you again, Arjun. Hello, A. Hey, love heart. Welcome, welcome. The numbers you choose, you have to multiply and add to make certain numbers. Yes, Lisa, that is actually right. Yep. So you want two numbers that add to term, term, to make the middle term of my. Um, equation. So this is here, add to make 8 minus 8 and times to make minus 12. Okay. So the solutions are m equals 2, okay, or m equals 6, okay. And they are your two solutions to the quadratic equation, okay. So guys, yeah, just, just like a little actually recap here. So factorizing this, okay, put it into double brackets to make m squared, okay, step on this here. Step one is put m and m to make m squared. Then I want step two. So then I want two numbers that add to make minus eight and multiply to make positive 12. Thank, thank you, Yasin, for liking. Thank you, Yasin, for liking. Thank you so much for liking. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. And then what you find, yeah, find, find actually the actual two numbers. So in this case here, it's minus two and minus six because minus two add minus six. Okay, is minus 2 minus 6, which makes minus 8. And then minus 2 times minus 6 
makes positive 12 okay so once you factorize that okay that's the third step the fourth step is say okay so when is the first bracket equal to zero or the second bracket equals zero and then obviously solve each equation separately so your solutions are m equals two or m equals eight okay spot on g yes that is right g yes that is correct yes spot on Okay, so Yasin's got a question, okay, so which topic are you talking about Yasin, sorry, which topic are you, are you talking about Yasin? So Yasin's got a topic here that he's, yeah, one is a bit tricky. Okay, which topic are you actually struggling to share, which topic? Yasin, are you, are you here Yasin, or are you here? So which topic here are you talking about? Okay. Do not panic here. If it's just that one topic here, can I do expanded brackets? Yes, I can do. Okay. So I, I, I did it actually earlier this year. So expanded brackets, I, I did it earlier here. Um, here, okay. So expanded brackets here. I've, I've done it there. Okay. One second, please. To make sure you yeah, have no worries. Okay. So that is how to expand a single bracket. Okay. So you do A times A, then A times minus 1, minus two times a and minus two times minus one and you get a squared minus one a minus two a plus two collect your like terms i get a squared minus three a because minus one a minus two a makes minus three a and then plus two okay but yes we can do yes some more yet expanding brackets here at some point okay hope that makes sense okay that one okay can I move on, guys? Can I move on? Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome, guys. If you're around here, please, please press that follow button if you can, please. Okay. Yeah, no worries, Yasin. No worries, Yasin. Take your time. Okay. So there, there are my solutions. Okay. Thank you, Liverpool Edix, for liking. Thanks so much for liking. Okay. G says yes. Lisa says yes. Move on. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Rearranging formula. Show that. C equals 3P minus 4R can be written as this expression or this formula here. P equals C plus 4R over 3. Okay, so to make P the subject, step 1, I'm going to add 4R to both sides. Hello, Sammy. Welcome, welcome, Sammy. Hello, hello. Hope you're well. Hope it's been a good day today for you guys. Okay, so we have C plus 4R. We have C plus 4R is equal to 3P. Okay, I want P. I don't want 3P. So dividing both sides of my equation by 3, I'm going to get C plus 4R okay, over 3. So my final answer is going to be C plus 4R. Hello, SC. Welcome, welcome, SC. Hello, hello. All over 3. Is equal to p okay because the threes just cancel here i'm left with just this okay and that is my final answer p equals c plus 4r all over 3 okay there we go okay make sense guys any questions Hello, SC. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Liverpool Edit says yes. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Guys, if it's your first time actually here, guys, yeah, please, please press that follow button if you can. Okay, equation of a straight line. Okay, find the equation of a line that passes through the points 0, 4, and 3, minus 2. Okay, so we're looking at an equation here of a straight line. So we're looking Okay. Thank you, Shijia. Thank you, Shijia, for liking. Okay, so we're going to have the gradient, okay, is the change in y over the change in x. So it's minus 2 minus 4 divided by the difference in the x coordinates, okay? So 3 minus 0. 
minus 2 minus 4 makes minus 6. So I get minus 6 thirds. Okay. Is equal to minus 2. Okay. So, so far I've got the gradient. So I've got y is equal to minus 2x plus c. Now the plus c is where it crosses on the y-axis. But if I look here, the x-coordinate is 0, the y-coordinate is 4. So the c value is going to equal to 4. Okay, because it crosses the y-axis at 4. Okay, so my final answer is just y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Let, let me know in the chat, guys, here. Does that make sense? Thank you, GH. Yeah, thank you, G, for the follow. Can you go GN sequences, please? Yes, I can do yes at some point. Yes. Okay, Yasin says yes. Awesome, awesome. Again, this is a super, super common question for both higher and foundation, particularly okay, on edit Celestia and also AQA and also of course here OCR. Okay, but I've seen this style of question here appear every single year at Shia, especially on the edit Celestia higher tier at Shia as well. Hello, Chloe. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you on the call. Okay, that's my answer for that. Okay, or why? Because 4 minus 2x8. Okay, either answer. You can do foundation right now. Well, if you, if you look here, yeah, sorry. If you, if, you, if you look here, G. If you look here, it's yes. If you look here. Okay. From the start, it says OCR. I put the question up. So what is the question? Sorry, yes. And what's the question? It says OCR Foundation Paper 2, okay? So this, this is for the non-calculator paper, okay? For that, okay? You know, okay, that's fine, okay? Yeah, that's fine, actually. It is, it's still going to be relevant for you, okay? It's, it's still going to be relevant for you, okay? Okay, what is the question, Yasin? Sorry, what's the question, Yasin? I put the question up. Oh, where's the question? Sorry. For some reason, yeah, I can't actually see the question. Okay. This is appropriate for all examples, actually, G. Yeah. This is appropriate for all examples. Okay. What's the question? Sorry, Yasin. Hello, Shan. Welcome, welcome, Shan. Hope you're well. Guys, if you're around here, please, please, please press that follow button. Okay. So next part here, this one I can't actually really explain it here, but this one, yeah, I'll, 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 just, I'll, yeah, I'll just show you, yeah, show you the actual marks in. So it says, show the region inside the parallelogram here that is closer to AB than AD. Okay, thank you, yes, in fact, for liking it. So this is looking at an angle bisection, so it's bisecting angle A. Okay, so it's an angle bisector. Okay, so if you're not sure, okay, you grab your compass, okay, and you do it from here at here, and, and do, do like a little actually a little arc, okay, like that, okay, on this side. Take your compass here on this side, and, and do like another little arc, okay. And where they cross, okay, that is going to be exactly, okay, the distance, okay. Of A B and A D. Okay, so that 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 is an angle bisection. Okay, of A B and A D. Okay, so for it to be closer, we want this region here. Okay, and always leave your construction lines on in the exam. Okay, so do, does that make sense, guys? Yeah, does that make sense? Okay, so you grab your pencil, you measure more than halfway the distance between AD or AB, okay, then obviously put your uh, pencil on your compass, okay, measure a little arc, 